Good morning. So it's seven o'clock. Actually, I don't even think it's seven o'clock and I think my alarm is going to cut this video off because my alarm was set for seven and I woke up earlier and I said, why not? Um, plus I realized I have to go get gas and if I can stop by the post office on the way there. Um, so yeah, so I'm just uh, throwing my hair back real quick. I'm wearing some sweatpants because I want to be comfortable in the car. And um, I feel like I need something in my hair. And uh, and we're going to head to Duluth, Minnesota, which is a, it's about a three hour, two and a half to three hour flight. No. Um, I kind of quote myself before I said flight and did the quotes. I don't know why. Um, and that's my cat. <coughs> he always comes in here when I, you know, that I'm going to be like, turn it on the water. Because <coughs> he likes the water. I kind of feel like I want to put my hair like in a, a hat or something. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, can you move your tail and your butthole? Gee! <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm in the car. Much easier than I assumed. Um, I had to get my chair in because for I suck at time. So sometimes when I say a week, it could be like a month. But it's been three weeks or so, give or take, that my, ca my car has not left the property or left its spot or anything because it's just been snowing so much. And then I was I was gone for nine days in Florida, but before and after, like now, it just snowed and there was just no way to get my car down because of all the plows pushing so much snow back into our property that it was like, you know, one foot, 12 foot, whatever. And the, the uh, driveway was so narrow that we live on a hill. If my car just went down, I would have crashed as a whole thing. So I'm gonna use my dad's car, hence why my wheelchair was in my car. But I was gonna bring uh, freckles instead of the chair, but she's gotten so bonded to Gizmo that I don't, I didn't really feel comfortable leaving him alone for so many hours. Maybe it was like a couple hours, a few hours, but it's like nine. So, <laughs> um, cause it's three hours there, three hours back, plus the time, close to seven hours, seven to eight hours, and um, yeah, I didn't want to do that to him. So. I brought my chair and because it was freezing out, it's six degrees. I'm sorry I'm shaking. You guys are on my window. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, I just brought my chair and I just thought it was gonna be hard because it's so cold out and things like that. But it's nice out, so we are headed to my appointment. Unfortunately, I have to stop and get gas already and it's 7.30 and 7.30 is the time I wanted to leave, which is why I decided, okay, let's leave earlier. I knew I'd have to um because I knew I would have to go get gas and I'm still behind. <laughs> divider like the wall from the parkway and like the houses came up um, but I had to put on my glasses my I don't know what you want to call these glasses I want to find a nickname for them and I've always been just saying my old people glasses because that's what it reminds me of and honestly I think that's the only people I've seen wear these but um because my eyes are so sensitive to the light I mean we all know how bad my eyes are for whatever condition I have for my eyes which I actually have an appointment next week for. Um, but anyway, uh, like the sun just came out of nowhere and boom, I mean, my eyes were about to just fall apart and I was going to crash. So thankfully I have these ugly things and I have to wear them. Um, right now, I guess I can take them off because 
the light, the sun went away as soon as I recorded. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna be kind of shifting soon, um, which means the light will be on my face again, but hopefully it'll be behind me by then, so. Yeah, anyway, it is 8.07 a.m. and my appointment's at 10.45. So we should be there on time, if not a little bit earlier. Um, they typically get me in like right away and uh, we shall see what happens. Like I said, this appointment is really just kind of discussing like the treatment plan that I've been on and seeing if it's been working, if we need to change it. Um, I think, I, I, I don't know, I think it's working, but not fully. Um, hence why I'm having this eye problem. And so I think I need to start, uh, uh, he, he, well, he mentioned not to go on Cromulin. He said that it just really does tear apart your body. And it's one of those last resorts of I don't need it, don't take it. So if it comes down to it, then that's what he'll you know prescribe to me. I agreed with him. You know, I did um, kind of was a little worried, I guess, because I've only heard that Cromulin is the only thing that treats mast cell. But he explained to me that it only treats what it's, it needs to treat. And if you don't have, you know, a certain case, with mast cell then you don't need it which i understand like some people have um mast cell like a minor version of mast cell or some people have extreme or severe mast cell and we won't really know until we start different treatments and we want to start with the lowest like the less impact and then go up um with the the one that kind of gives you more symptoms and it kind of tears up, tears apart your body which i completely agreed with and i did more research and i understood it so um we shall see um, and then I might ask him to do some more testing, like allergy testing on me, because we did last time, and I know that there was a lot more we just didn't test me for, but since I had that uh, allergic reaction to the rabbit in Florida, I kind of want to test for more animals, so I know ahead of time, so I don't have to go through that ever again. We made it, and it's about 20 minutes early, which is perfect. Um, so I'm going to go to the bathroom because I got to pee. my mast cell doctor and the nurses took my weight and I was 127 and the first doctor in Florida said that the machine was is broken and doesn't weigh perfectly but it's close to it by like two or three pounds which is pretty extreme to me for a doctor's office like but here it was 126.7 or was it 127.6 but still I was like wow maybe I was this 126 when I was in Florida, hence the three pound difference. Or maybe I was 130 and I just lost some weight. But the good news is I gained weight. They don't know why I gained weight, but I'm so excited. So now we're just waiting for my doctor. We're going to talk about my treatments, if we're going to change them, what he thinks, and then talk about the anaphylaxis I attack I had in Florida, and maybe do some more testing to see if I'm allergic to any other like animals or other things. You know? All right, so I just left and completely missed my exit and now I think I'm going to be going at least I don't even know like seven miles up my way like I'm not sure if you guys can see but there's a big like arch up there and this and the highway I'm on or whatever I think it goes all the way around it and oh my gosh if I have to go all the way out my way I'm gonna die like there has to be another way that I can Okay, this one here says Garfield Avenue Port Terminal. <laughs> I'm like nervous, like port? I don't know what that means. Is this for like trucks? Can I get back? I don't know. Okay, okay, I see a car. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh. I saw a 30, oh wait, 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 this might be it. Ah, uh, crap. Oh gosh, I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm making a U-turn back once what I was just on maybe I yes 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 it's over here it reminds me of like the photos I see of like Denver it's just like old hills and it's just it's pretty pretty over here I love how it looks out here and then of course behind us is like in a large amount of water which is only Oh, weird. I'm on the border of Wisconsin by going the wrong direction. Because here's a sign for welcome to Minnesota. <laughs> My bad. Uh, 
I suck today. I now missed another exit on the way home and I missed it because I didn't realize how close I was to it and I was trying to go around the semi truck and when I went around him, he was right there at the exit. So I didn't wow, see it. Look at how fucking awesome that one looks. Woo! Talking about the color gal or it's me? called about vegan. Well, her and her car, Bob. Yours was. <coughs> so, so she, she ruins it, yeah. yeah. I did that. Oi. It's called Wednesday. Yeah. How did you guys do that? It's all over my hand. Do you miss mommy? Do you miss mommy? Ew. What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth, boo boo? <laughs> Say hi. Oh, I love you, freckles. And then we still got Gizmo. <laughs> right, Gizmo. Right, Gizmo. Oh, freckles. So, Freckles wants to tell you that we did remember that my doctor was very happy with the success I've had, the little bit of success. And that's why he shaved the milligrams and then added a little bit more. But he wasn't happy that I had an anaphylaxis attack and an eye allergy attack within Florida within like under 24 hours. So that's why he changed the milligrams for the medication and added new medication. Just to kind of see if it helps me. <laughs> um, but my, uh, my appointment went very well. And we're starting me on a higher dose of Cromulin. <coughs> and we're doing a, a new um, nasal spray and eye drop. So instead of doing the ones I do, we're doing a Cromulin nose spray and a Cromulin eye drop. What? Okay, sorry, my, uh, my dad like was talking to me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we're starting on a higher dose and new Cromulin treatments. And he thinks we're definitely moving forward with the right treatments. Um, he's just not happy that I had anaphylaxis attack in Florida. And I'm still having this eye attack, eye like allergy attack. So we're really just trying to get those under control. And um, I'll see him in three months. Hopefully my friend can drive with me. And I guess that's really it. I really feel like there's something else I'm supposed to be telling you guys. But, um, I don't know what it is. I think, my, and so my nurse is coming tomorrow. She, my treatments for IV, like saline, is Mondays and Thursdays. But this appointment took forever that we have to move it to tomorrow. Um, and then I'm meeting at the bar to discuss, um, like a fundraiser for the care packages. Um, so yeah. But I, I feel like there's something else I'm missing and I just don't know what it is. I'm absolutely tired. I keep falling asleep and it's, I don't even know what time it is, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. <sighs> but I am, I'm so tired and I hate it because I like sleeping later in the night just because I get things done and I feel more concentrated. But I am like... My eyes are sensitive, I'm just tired. So I thought I'd just end this now and see if I can quickly edit it. And I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. Um, my eyes are really hurt. So, oh my goodness. Everybody stay super strong. And I'll see you next time.